Hey fellow Reading Warriors and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm coming at you with a video. Basically, I have a problem. There, I, <laughs> I'm a horrible. This is a video I've been meaning to film for quite a while because I keep bringing it up in other videos and I was like, you know what, today I'm finally just gonna sit down and do it. And so my problem is series that I've started and haven't finished, but I want to. Because, like, there's a difference between series that I've started and I'm just not going to finish, obviously. But there are quite a few series where I started them and I want to keep reading them, but then I end up moving on and reading something else. And not even because, like, oh, the next book isn't out yet. Like, I understand, like, if I pick up a series and only one or two books are out but more are coming out, I'm always like, should I start reading the series now? Or should I wait until all the books are out so that I can just sit down and read them all at once? But no matter what, I will never sit down and read an entire series in one go. I think I've only ever done that with two series, the first one being Harry Potter, and that's because my parents read it to me. The second one being this Mortal Instrument series. I don't know why, I just had like one summer where I legit spent two weeks going back and forth from the library because like I got the first one and I read it and then I got the second and third one and I read them and then a day later the library was like, oh we have the other ones and I, I just sat down and I read them all. Since then, I have not been able to sit down and read a series that is completely out or a series where all the books have come out and have been out for a while, but I still haven't read them. For example, the first one on the series is the Ark of the Scythe trilogy. I own all three. I have read the first two, and for some gosh dang reason, I have not read the Toll. This big, hunky boy that I really want to read because I love this trilogy. I have been thoroughly enjoying it for quite a while. Why I haven't read the third one, I don't know. I own it. There's nothing keeping me from reading it. Except for the fact that I just haven't sat down and read it yet, and I, and I don't understand why. And I'm so afraid that I'm going to forget some of the important details in the second book. And then I'm going to have to start over the series again, when there's no good reason for me to do that, because the third book is right here, it's not going anywhere. I just haven't read it yet. I don't understand why. So, you, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, I love that trilogy. I don't know why I haven't read them, except for the fact that I haven't read them. The next series I'm going to talk about is the Shatter Me series by Tahara Mafi. So I read the first one over audiobook. I loved it. I wanted to continue. I actually got the, I think this is the second one. I'm pretty sure this is the second one from a friend of mine. The end. I don't own the first book. I don't own the rest of the series. I only own this book right here, which I'm pretty sure is the second book. And I haven't read the second book, but that's the only book I have access to at the current moment in time. My hesitation was, I read the first one over audiobook, and I loved the audiobook, and so I'm hesitant to read this physically. I, I would prefer to keep listening to the audiobook, because if I'm, if I'm listening to a series over audiobook, I want to read the entire thing over audiobook, or physically read the entire thing, but I don't think that's going to happen at this point, because my library does not have this as an audiobook on any of the apps that I use. So I need to just sit down and read the second one, but then how am I going to read the rest of the series? <laughs> like, they're not at my library, they're not audiobook, which means I'd have to buy the rest of the series. And I think it would definitely be worth it, especially if I read this one and enjoy it as much as I did the first one. It would definitely be worth reading the entire series, buying it and reading it. So like, what's stopping me? Seriously. Nothing is stopping me from doing this. Let's move on. I swear I'm gonna break down in tears halfway through this video just being like, I'm a horrible reader. Yeah, so a lot of these books are gonna have similar stories and this one is no exception and that is The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chainani. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. I own the first book. That's it. I read the first book and the first couple of chapters of the second book and that's it. I want to continue reading it. I really enjoyed it. I know there are at least three, possibly four books in the series, um, so this is one that I will most likely be buying myself in the near future because I really enjoy these and I just haven't read them. Oopsie. 
Now this next one is a hard one because I read the first book. I got the second book from the library and I started it, however, it was a very slow start, so I ended up having to return it to the library before I finished it. I'm still wanting to continue with the series, but I don't think now is the right time for me to continue with the series. I am talking about Kill the Queen by Jennifer Estep, the second one, Crush the Prince, and then there's another one about the king, and it, I don't know, I mean, I, I liked the first book okay. I started the second book and I wanted to keep going, I just, I wasn't motivated enough to read the second one in the amount of time I had it, so I would like to continue with the series, but it's also not a high priority like some of the other series in this video. Um, so if you've read this series, let me know down below if they get better, if they get worse, or if they're all the same. Because if they get better, I'll read them. If they get worse, I might not. If they stay the same, I might read them. <laughs> so I own the first one, and I would love to just buy the rest of the books in the series, but I'll only do that if I actually like them. And then if I end up not liking them, then I will probably unhaul this one. So this one's kind of on the edge. Now this next series you've heard me talk about quite a bit in the past couple of videos because there's been a slight bit of, not drama, but like issues. And that is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. So the issue is, I love this series. I've only read the first one, I only own the first one. I bought the next one in the series, but my apartment building has just been like, for reasons we don't know, you're not getting your package. It's not your fault. It's not the sender's fault. We'll work on it, and that that's all I've heard. So like I actually bought the next book in this series. But because I might not ever get that package, I actually returned it and got my refund. But I have no idea where that package is. I am more inclined to buy the rest of these books when I'm in a different place, whether it be back at my parents' house or wherever we end up living next year. If packages get sent there just fine, I want, I will buy the rest of these and I will read them. Initially, I had bought the second one in this series to read on Halloween, but because it didn't come, I was very disappointed, very sad. Insert Halloween vlog here where I was supposed to read it and then didn't. Um, so that's kind of why, like I have tried <laughs> getting the next book in this series so that I can read them. Shipping just hates me apparently, so I will continue on with these, don't worry. One way or another, I will make sure I get these. So this next one is a series, but it's not one that I'm reading in order, and it's not necessarily one that I need to read in order. Also, forewarning, I took the dust jacket off of this book because I didn't like it, and now I, I know I have it somewhere, I just can't find it. So, um, ta-da! Basically, this is actually Anna of Cleve, the princess in the portrait. So this is part of a series of all the wives of Henry VIII, I want to say. Not, I'm not good at history. I could probably open up the book and figure it out, but I'm too lazy to do so. But yeah, this is like his third or fourth wife. And basically, um, this author, Alison Ware, wrote a book for every wife of Henry VIII and made them into stories. This is the one that I found in the bookstore. That sounded interesting to me, so I bought it. I haven't actually finished it yet, but I really want to, and I know I'm going to enjoy it, and I know that I want to buy all the other ones for it, but I'm not super concerned about this series or feel very like pressured to get them read because I'm not reading them in order. I don't need to read them in order, and it's very much just like fun historical fiction, you know? I like, I almost don't want to count it as a series, as like independent books, but it does like, you know, it's historical fiction. It does mention like previous wives or, you know, it kind of alludes to there being other books without having, following a specific plot line of you need to read each book in the specific order in order to understand what's going on. And also because like it's based off of history. So like, I'm not good at history, but I know some things, so it's not like there are going to be a ton of spoilers, but I am thoroughly enjoying this one, and so I do want to get the rest of them. So moving on, the next series I'm going to talk to you about is by Scott Sigler, and the first one is called Alive. This has either three or four books in it. I read it this past summer, so it hasn't been like forever since I've read it, so I'd still be good with, like I still remember everything that happens, 
but I feel like I should get the next book sooner rather than later uh, so I don't forget what happens uh, because this was just kind of a book that I received from someone either as a gift or from a thrift store or something and was just like yeah sure that looks interesting I'll pick it up and then I finally read it this past summer and I was like you know what? that's that's interesting not the twist that I was expecting but it was a big twist and I appreciate that so I want to continue reading with the series but I'm gonna buy it book by book because if it gets better then I'm definitely gonna be happy about it but if it's not as good as the first one then it might be one I would drop not quite as judgy as when I was for kill the queen but yeah this is gonna be one where I'll buy book by book and then I'll read them book by book and then if I continue to like it I'll keep going with it so but for now after reading the first one I do want to continue the next one is in pretty much the same story and that's Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hoke. Um, I read this one this past summer again. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed this book so much all the way up until the end. I did not like the ending. Not because it was like a cliffhanger and oh I didn't like that. No, I love books with cliffhanger endings. That's how I know it's a series and I know I want to keep reading it. If a book if a book in a series ends and there's another book after it but I don't feel like there was a cliffhanger or enough of a suspense element to it that I'm like oh my word I there needs to be more I'm most likely not gonna realize it's a series and then I'm not gonna want to continue with it like I need books that have pretty decent cliffhangers in order for me to continue with the series and this book has a cliffhanger but I just didn't like the ending I didn't like I felt like the characters kind of went downhill a little bit and it wasn't quite as exciting as it was but I'd still be interested in picking up the next book to see if it gets better if not who knows but like I'm still definitely very interested in continuing the series for now because it had a good enough cliffhanger that I was like hmm there must be more books in the series and I looked it up and yes yes there are more books in the series I feel like with so many of these books, I'll pick up like the first book in a series and just not see either the rest of the series or the rest of the series hasn't come out yet, so I'll just not know that it's a series and I'll pick it up because it sounds interesting and then I'm like, is this a series or is this not a series? If it is, do I want to keep reading? Because clearly I didn't know it was a series. <laughs> the next one is uh, two books so far out that I don't own, Serpent and Dove and Blood and Honey. I don't own either of them, but I've read Serpent and Dove and I just need to read Blood and Honey. I want to so badly and I don't know why I can't just sit down and read it. Again, I read Serpent and Dove as an audiobook, so maybe it's because I want Blood and Honey as an audiobook, but even then I feel like that's not a series I would be super picky about because I loved it so much anyway. So like, there's another one! <laughs> Now this next one is a duology, and I own the first in the duology, and I've read the first in the duology, but I don't own the second one, and I haven't read the second one, <laughs> and that is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim, and the second one is Unravel the Dusk. I very recently finished it, and I adored it, and so I need to buy the second one because I know I'm going to either like that one, or if I don't, I like this one enough to own them both. So yeah, I, I feel like this is one I could end up buying very soon because I did finish reading it very soon and I did really enjoy it. I don't, there wasn't too much of a cliffhanger, or at least not that I remember, but I'm also really bad at remembering things. But it's like there's definitely more, I can see how there'd be more to the story. Um, and so I am very interested in continuing it. Yes, continuing with it. Yeah. So. It's only a duology, and so it's not like there's a ton of effort of tracking down the other books or reading a bunch of books, but yeah. So this is one that I could get pretty soon, honestly. And the next one on this list is the Tea Dragon Society. There are two more books that I know of, the Tea Dragon Festival and the Tea Dragon Tapestry, all by Katie O'Neill. These are very short books. I loved it so much that I immediately made my mother, my father, my husband, and my two best friends all read them within a span of I got this book, I read it, I love it, here, you read it, here you go. Um, so yeah, I am very interested. I think the I think the only struggle with me with this one is that it's such a small book that I have a hard time paying like 20 bucks for it. Like, it's gorgeous art, I love the story, everything is amazing, the creativity is beautiful, but it's so small that I'm like, do I really want to spend 20 bucks per book, so spend almost $50 to get two tiny little books? And the answer would be yes if I literally had the money. <laughs> so I think this one is more about like 
financial outside circumstances rather than like, a, oh, I like the series, I want to continue, but eh, like, no, I love this. I'm probably going to end up making everyone else read the books once I buy them. Okay, we're getting there. We got four more books left, or four more series left, none of which I own the books for. And so that might be a reason why I haven't finished them so much, because I started them, reading them from the library, and then I either had to wait and now the library has them, or they, the library doesn't even have it at all. Next one I'm going to talk to you about is Every Heart of Doorway by Shawnee McGuire. I read the first one for book club. I loved it. End of story. Um, I keep wanting to read the next one, but I'm also sitting here like I really want to buy the first one and then the next one, so I'm kind of holding myself on reading the next one because I want to own them specifically but because I haven't been able to like sit down and buy them all because there are quite a few of them in the series and again with finances like it's just not I'm not quite in a spot that's completely doable for me for that so I want to keep reading them but I want to own them and I have to get over the okay but you can read them before you own them like that's okay you do that with other series and you don't have a problem so why is this series so hard for me to follow that with uh, the next one is actually The Bone Witch. I don't think I finished that series. I'm pretty sure I only read the first two, and I'm pretty sure there are more than two. I'm having a hard time remembering because this was so long ago, but ironically, the, my review of The Bone Witch is still one of my like top five most viewed videos, and it was the very second video I ever did on this channel, like a year and almost a year and a half ago, actually. Um, so like, it's kind of funny that I haven't continued with that series when I liked the series and the series has been going well for me. Um, I think I just, I didn't like the second one as much and so I kind of had a hard time. I didn't like it as much and I was no longer able to follow it. I also wonder if I actually did finish this. You know, I'm pretty sure I didn't. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Like, my book memory is so horrible, I don't know if I actually finished the series or not. I'm very, I'm like 98% sure I did finish it, and or I didn't finish it. I just, I had a hard time remembering what happened at the end of the book because I had a hard time understanding what happened at the end of the book, because I didn't like it as much. So I do want to try and pick it up again, maybe reread the second book and then move on, because I just loved the world building and the magic system from the first one, so I want to try it again maybe start from the beginning this time now the next one don't kill me please i read shadow and bone by lee bardugo i started the grishaverse i was actually borrowing these books from a friend i read the first one i read about the first chapter of the second one and then i stopped <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry, and I know I heard things about other series in the Grishaverse being better, and other Lee Bardu books being better, and I do not doubt that. I just want to finish the first series, so then, then I can move on to the next ones, next series within the Grishaverse. I just haven't been able to find them, honestly. It was only my friend who had access to them for me, like my library didn't have them, they're not available audiobook and I didn't I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy them quite yet because I just wasn't sure if I liked them enough to buy them um, so we'll see I do want to finish the shadow and bone series before I start the uh, other ones that are within the Grisha verse so I, I'm being picky here I'm being real picky I acknowledge that so that would be one that I'm still interested in finishing although it's been so long that I might need to reread because that was like junior year in high school which was like three and a half years ago for me so and with already with my really bad book memory i might just have to like start over give it a try or even just start another series which i really don't want to do but i might <laughs> anyway you can tell that i'm slowly digressing and losing my mind as i'm going through all these different series uh but good news is good news is is that we're on the last series <sighs> the illuminate files yep i know i know i I read the first two, and then the third one came out, and then the fourth one came out, and I just didn't, I didn't get a chance to read them, slash I didn't read them because those things are huge. I, those are ones that I have a little bit of a harder time, I had a hard time following them at first, but then I had, I really do enjoy them, and they're 
very cool. They're mixed media, which is not something I'm used to reading, but I was really getting the handle of, especially in the second book. I was like, oh yeah, I know what's going on. This is interesting. And then I had to wait for the third book to come out, and then I was like, okay, but it just came out. It's not, again, not in any libraries. I don't own the first two. I don't want to buy all of them right now. I don't want to buy the third one because I really hate having part of a series, especially if it's not the first half of the series. And I know for like the first half of this video, I had the physical, like, here's the first book, here's the first book, here's only the second book. I, I it really bugs me. And so I need to either decide if I'm going to buy the third one to then read it, or if I'm going to slowly buy the first one, then the second one, then the third and fourth, and finish reading them. So yeah, those are all the series that I have started reading, haven't finished for whatever lame reason, but I still want to. There were a total of 15 series on this list. Yeah, I have started 15 series, enjoyed them, and not finished them. How messed up is that, right? Like, come on, come on, Laura. Like, what are you doing? Yes, I'm talking to myself and looking off into the distance. But here's the thing, I didn't include any of the series that I have started and didn't want to finish. That could be a whole separate video, which I might not do because that's not near as interesting. Or if I do, it's probably going to be a much longer video because those would be saying why I'm not finishing them versus now it's like, I didn't finish it because I don't own it because they're not at the library because I'm stupid. So, you know, it's gonna be a little more intense. So I'm not gonna film that right now unless you guys want me to comment down below if you wanna see that video of the series I've started but stopped reading for whatever reason. That might have more reasoning than this video did, but yeah, subscribe. I hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. I upload videos every Thursday and I have so much fun doing so. Um, hit the bell to be notified and give this video a thumbs up if you can relate to their just being series that you started reading, but you never finish them even though you want to. Like there's nothing against this struggle. But thank you guys for sticking around for this. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very long and very repetitive video. But I hope you found it somewhat entertaining. So until next time, you guys, I wish you a happy reading.